Here is another story that was sent by a listener. This happened to him about two years ago as he says, let's go. I am 51 and my wife is 50. I am a foreman for a large construction company here in North Carolina. And my wife works as a manager for a large clothing store in the mall. I was married for 19 years just two years ago. My marriage ended and I walked in on my wife with someone I never knew existed. She never displayed any red flags. I had access to her phone. I had access to her computer and she had access to mine. When she did girls' night and yes, she did girls' night, but she always had her phone location turned on and always came home at a reasonable hour. I wasn't really big into social media, but she was and used it mostly to advertise discounts at a store. We don't have any kids together, but I have one son from a previous marriage. My first marriage ended because my ex-wife was an undercover meth head, but I quickly recovered from that marriage and moved on with my life. And then I met my current wife at another store she was managing at that time. I struck up a conversation with her. And from then on, we started dating right away. And we've been together ever since. About two years ago, I came home from work and my wife was already home, which was surprising because I usually got home before she did. But the strange part was she was on the computer. And when I walked through the front door, she quickly closed her PC. Now in the whole time we have been together, she has never done that, never. But I didn't dwell on it. I just thought it was odd. Fast forward two weeks, my wife calls me at work to tell me she is going out with a couple of her girlfriends after work. She has always done this. And I told her I would just see her at home later. She didn't get home until almost 3 a.m. And I let her have it. I was so angry we got into a huge argument and my angry feelings toward her lingered well into the next day. She apologized later and I accepted her apology and didn't think anything else of it. A few weeks later, I was at home just relaxing from work. When my wife comes walking through the door, telling me she had a bad day at work, she had to fire an employee, which upset her. I was sympathetic and just tried to listen as to why she told me the reason she had to fire one of her employees. This woman was actually one of her assistant managers and she had to fill this job rather quickly. Until then, she had to take on her job and told me some days will be way longer than others, to which I told her I understood. Fast forward a couple of weeks and my wife's schedule has changed drastically. She is getting home later from work and seems to be a little stressed when she comes home. I got off work one day a little early and went to the mall where my wife's store is. But by chance, I run into the young woman my wife supposedly fired. I have seen her face in the store at times and made small talk when I was visiting my wife. We started chatting and she tells me that she enjoyed working for my wife, but my wife didn't want to pay her more money. She was essentially doing my wife's job. She told me on a few occasions, my wife left work early to go hang out with her girlfriends, so she gave her a two-week notice, but then she started giving me certain time frames of when my wife left early to go hang out with her girlfriends. Turns out my wife lied to me each time. Basically her manager was covering for her. I was surprised she was telling me this, maybe because she had some type of vendetta against my wife but it caught my attention. After our conversation, I went to my wife's store and didn't tell her the conversation I had with their former employee just around the corner. After hanging out with my wife a bit, I drove home only to be thinking about what this woman told me about my wife leaving her store early and being dishonest about it. Lots of things were going through my mind. Why would she be dishonest like that? Well, when she got home that evening, we had a long sort of heated discussion about those time frames. She basically came back with she didn't want to be out too late so she had her employee cover for her and she was drunk a few times. That night led to a dead bedroom. As a matter of fact, that dead bedroom lasted a few weeks before I really started to notice a huge shift in my wife's behavior. My wife started going to the gym all of a sudden and she didn't invite me. And I only found out that she had a gym membership because she left work early and one of her employees said that's where she went. It was beginning to feel like my wife was becoming a totally different person. She never kept anything from me, never. Fast forward a few hours, my wife came home from the gym, but she wasn't wearing gym clothes. And I didn't say anything to her about me visiting her store and me knowing about her new secret gym membership. My wife gets home and doesn't say one word to me, didn't even ask me how my day was, nothing. She just goes to the shower and I am left in the living room, not really sure what is going on. She didn't come back out of the bedroom, but her phone was on the kitchen counter. I picked it up and it immediately asked me for a password. That's when I knew something was up. The fact that she is leaving work early, 
a sudden gym membership and a password on her phone, she's never had a password on her phone. Fast forward a week and my boss tells me that I need to go to Charlotte for a bit on an upcoming project in that city. He said he will pay me for the travel time, etc. So before I tell my wife, I ask my neighbor who is an older guy who is retired from General Motors to keep an eye on the place for a couple of days. He agreed and for someone in his 70s he knows his tech. So he gave me some recommendations on some indoor cameras and where to put them. I have always wanted cameras but never got around to installing them. But this was a perfect opportunity to install some since I would be gone for a few days and my wife will be home by herself. Well that night I told her I will be leaving for a few days. It was a Wednesday night and I would be back Saturday for sure. Then she says to me, why are you leaving to go bid on a job? I said, my boss doesn't have anybody else to do it besides him, but he is already bidding on another job. Mid-morning, I leave for Charlotte. My wife had already left for work and it takes me about three hours to get to Charlotte. When I got there, went to the hotel, checked in and sent my wife a text to let her know I made it there. It was strange. She was giving me a play-by-play -play of her every move, but she didn't know I had cameras outside and inside, including the bedroom. My wife and I texted each other for most of the night and even FaceTimed each other. The cameras didn't show anything, but she was on her phone quite a bit and moving around the house, but nothing suspicious. At 11 a.m., I get an emergency phone call from my boss. He needed me back because another one of the workers had an emergency at home. So I told him I could be back as early as this evening. I did not tell my wife I was coming back a day early. I would be getting back early enough to take her out to a nice restaurant. So I head back home and when I get there it's just getting dark. My neighbor's car is gone. His house is dark, but I can see from a distance. There is a car in my driveway parked behind my wife's car. I stopped. I didn't pull all the way up. I parked a few hundred yards away from the house. I went to the side door of the garage, used my key and opened the door gently. And when I went into the garage, there it was, a man's voice in my house, laughing with my wife. I waited, grabbed the axe that was right next to the door. There were a few minutes of silence. Then I hear them walk upstairs to the bedroom. When I heard them make it to the bedroom, I opened the door to the inside of the house, take off my shoes and walk up the stairs. My heart is pounding and all of a sudden they both start making sounds. The door to the bedroom is open. I peeked my head around and there they were having sex. I stood there for a good 60 seconds before the guy noticed I was there. He says, oh shit. My wife screams, I am not a small guy. I am 6 feet 2 inches, 250 pounds and a little overweight. This guy wasn't going anywhere, at least at the moment he wasn't. My wife is saying, please, please. At that moment, I raised the axe I have in my hand and told them both, get the fuck out. When they left, I just sat on the couch, just in a daze of what happened. Once I was able to calm down, my wife starts blowing up my phone and I blocked her. I called my brother and told him what happened. He was at my place within 30 minutes. My brother said to me, let's get you out of here. I packed a few things and went to stay at my brother's place. Then my wife started calling my brother, but he ignored her calls. The next morning I go to work and spill my guts to my boss. He was floored and told me if I can't work, he would understand. I told him I could work but would need some time to take care of this mess legally. Fast forward a week, I gathered the footage from the cameras, hired an attorney and my wife was served at the house. I have not seen her since that night. Two months later, at the divorce hearing, my wife had an attorney and their attorney was trying to get alimony out of me, as well as trying to get the house to herself. But the judge said that based on the evidence in front of her, she forfeited that with her infidelity. The judge called it marital misconduct. I have never even heard of it. After everything was said and done, she did not get any alimony. She didn't get any of my retirement, but she will get half of the assets we own in the house and about 20% of the equity in the house when it's sold. Unfortunately, the judge allowed her to stay in the house. I told the judge I didn't want to stay there. I had a place to go. About four months later, the house was sold. I took my material belongings and she took hers. I have never seen or heard from my ex-wife since the divorce hearing. My brother said he was at the mall one day, walked by her store and my ex-wife was talking to a customer. She sent me a letter one day to my brother's place. He called me and told me I told him to tear it up and throw it in the trash. It's been two years since that happened and I am still torn up about it. I am surprised I let that guy walk out but I just couldn't do it. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe for more.